I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT. College Board gives us a quadratic equation and asks for the positive solution. To solve for x, we could use the quadratic formula, but it's much easier to get the x squared by itself. If I have x squared plus 10 equals 91, to get the x squared by itself, I subtract 10 from each side, giving me x squared equals 81. Taking the square root of both sides, square root of x squared equals square root of 81. So x equals positive or negative 9, and they're asking for the positive answer. So that is choice A, 9. An alternate approach that is slightly slower but also works is to plug in our answer choices. So given x squared plus 10 equals 91, I can try plugging in, for example, 51. 51 squared plus 10. We're asking, is this equal to 91? Well, 51 squared is 2601 and 2601 plus 10 is not equal to 91, so choice D is not correct. Similarly, trying other choices, when I eventually get to trying 9, 9 squared plus 10, we're still asking, is this equal to 91? And that's 81 plus 10 equals 91. And yes, that's true, 91 equals 91. When you plug in an answer choice and it works, that means it was the correct answer. The College Board often asks you to solve quadratic equations. This is at the easier end of the scale, which is why it's one of their first problems. Come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.